Where are we? Where are we, the people? Africa is always, always receiving Palestine as a symbol on a, on a of the liberty. Point of order, on a point of order, Chief. Mr. President, on a point of order, please Chief. let me finish what I have to say. What? On a, on a point of order, Chief. I'm here. I'm here. On a, on a point of order, Chief. Wait a moment, Honorable Malema. Chair, I'm rising on a point of order. Honorable Malema. I'm rising on a point of order. I, I, I fully agree with the honorable member is presenting. I agree entirely. But we are in the middle of a discussion of a, a report. Can we exhaust the report and come back to this motion? Because it's an important motion which cannot be discussed as a by the way. It needs to be a substantive motion where we'll even take a decision as Pan-African Parliament. Yes. So let's have a proper discussion on that motion, not in the middle of the report. Let's, I don't know what type of procedure is this, where you can just stand up in the middle of a report and say something completely different. We agree with that motion. We, we fully, we are all here. And we're not going to allow this parliament to adjourn until it has taken a decision on what is happening in the Middle East. But for now, let's exhaust the report and come back to the motion, please. I agree, Mr. President, on what you just said, but what you don't know that this paper is presented since a year and a half now. A year and a half, there is a motion that nobody wants to listen to. And that's why Honorable Mustafa. Honorable Mustafa, have a seat. I invite please. Honorable Julius Malema from South Africa. You have the floor. Thanks very much, uh, Vice President, and uh, thank you very much, President, for the uh, report. I think our problem starts with the titling of the report because you call it an activity report. And therefore, by calling it activity report, it means that you are asking the president to come and present the diary mm -hmm. of what he has done, mm -hmm. uh, where he has been, and all that. And uh, I don't know if that is in terms of the rules and the, the constitution that constitutes this body, because ordinarily we should be getting the state of Africa mm -hmm. through the president. And the state of Africa will then include politics of our continent, mm -hmm. the economy of our continent, mm -hmm. and the security of our continent. The politics of that state of Africa will, amongst other things, tell us if we are achieving the strategic objective of this institution, mm -hmm. or we just talk about which countries we visited and how many days we have spent there and how much we have spent that is a degeneration. It's not politics. I think that we are forgetting that gathering here, we are politicians. And at all times, we must speak politics on how do we reposition Africa as an equal partner in the geopolitics mm -hmm. of this world. So the degeneration of diary times and delegations and money is actually an insult to this institution and to the people of Africa. So I think that as we go forward, Mr. President, we may have to retitle this report and we may have to write it differently. For instance, it can't be a report of three months. It has to be a report of your term from the last three years. When you got in, what were the resolutions? What was your mandate? Have you achieved that mandate for the so it's an incorporation of everything else you have been reporting in between since the election and the new elections. But equally, the president should not hesitate to start the, this type of a meeting with this type of a report because you ought to set the tone. You cannot speak at the end. You ought to speak much, much more earlier so that you give the meeting direction and we're able to say, this is where we are, this is where we come from, how do we move forward? 
I hate a situation where I meet with politicians and we discuss diaries and human resource. We cannot be discussing human resource from a president. We must be discussing politics, and that's why there are cracks. That's why there is no clear explanation of where, if you pardon me, uh, Chair, there's no clear explanation of how far are we with regard to the people of Western Sahara, how far are we with issues of uh, terrorism in our continent, and all of that. Why? Because you think those are not important issues. You ought to narrow yourself down to more technical and administrative issues, and politics take a back seat. If you want to be those types of politicians that are obsessed with human resource, you must know you are failing this continent. Thank you very much, Honourable Members. Uh, now we are at the end of our discussion.